Hey folks, welcome to lesson four of the 30 days to learn Adobe After Effects course. My name is Vincent Nguyen, and today in this lesson, we're gonna be discussing projects versus compositions, how compositions work, and how projects differ from compositions. So here I'm in After Effects, and I have a project file open right here. Now, first off, a project file is the main file that saves all of your assets, all of your compositions together. The project is the main file of your whole animation or composite, your whole project. Hence the name project file. Now a composition is kind of a subcategory of a project. So projects include compositions, but compositions don't include projects. Now you can save a project, but you can't save a composition. A composition is saved within a project. Now I know that's a little bit confusing, but let me just show you what I mean. So here I have a project file open. The project is named projects versus compositions. .aep. And this .aep file is the project file that you'll open to restore all the work you've done. Now this is a composition right here. Notice how the composition right here is called messy example. And the composition is open right here under messy example. Now remember, a composition is a subcategory of a project. So think of a composition as maybe a group within Photoshop or maybe a sequence within Premiere. It's just a subcategory or a subproject in a main project. So how do you create a composition? Well, before you can even do anything in After Effects, you're gonna need to create kind of a workspace or a composition. So to create a composition, there are many ways to do it. The best way to do it for me is to go into the top menu bar up here, go to composition and click on new composition. Now, notice how there's a shortcut key right here that you can press. Click on the new composition button and it's going to bring up the composition settings. And here we can name the composition name so let's go ahead and name our composition something random. Now, under the composition name, we have some basic settings for our composition, such as the resolution or size of our composition, specifically the width and height of the composition. We can also lock the aspect ratio, which is currently set to 16 by 9. Now, if you don't understand much of this stuff, you can always go into the presets and select a predefined preset for whatever you're doing. We have the aspect ratio and the frame rate or how many frames per second is our animation or our, our composition going to be. The resolution here, which is pretty much serving as a preview preference. We can always change this later. Um, the start time code, which usually would start at 0, 0, and the duration of our composition right here. So currently it's set to 20 seconds long. And the default background color is set to black, very similar to Photoshop and how you can set it to transparent or white, etc. So remember, these settings all right here can all be configured. So all this is not permanent. Now on the right side, we have the advanced tabs, which we'll discuss a little bit later in the course session. So once you have all your composition settings set up, we can go ahead and click OK. And just like that, it's going to create a brand new composition, a brand new workspace, so we can begin our composition or our project. Now notice how our composition right here is in the project media panel. So we can easily access it. The composition is also in the composition menu bar up here. So we can navigate through the different compositions that we have. So once you have a composition made, we can begin your animation, you begin your composite. So as you see, compositions are very important, but is there another way you can use compositions? And the answer to that is yes. Other than being your uh, kind of canvas for your project here, you can also organize things and group things together, like I said, similar to Photoshop or sequences in Premiere. And they behave very similar to sequences in Premiere as well. So for an example, I'll have a really big project here. I have multiple scenes in this one composition. See, this is the messy example here. And I have all these layers, all these scenes, all stuffed into one big composition. Now, this is very, very messy. And you can use compositions to kind of organize this a little bit better and this should give you a really good idea uh, on how and why to use compositions in the first place. So to organize the scene, I'm going to quickly just kind of squish things and group things together by scene into a new composition. For example, all the scene one stuff, I'm going to kind of group together like this. And then I'm gonna to go to layer and hit pre-compose. And that's just gonna bring all of this stuff into the new composition. So I'm pretty much grouping all the stuff I have highlighted here into its own composition. So new composition name, we're gonna call this scene one stuff. 
and we're going to move all the attributes into the new composition which means it's going to move all the effects and all that stuff into the composition rather than staying on the outside again we will be discussing this a little bit later hit ok so now rather than having all those layers displaying it's all grouped into one composition right here so it's easier to manage and then we can group all of group 2 stuff right here and then we can go to layer precompose call this scene 2 and finally all of scene 3 stuff we we'll go to layer precompose and scene 3 stuff like that and just like that we've grouped all these stuff into three easily managed compositions which we can displace in time normally like in Premiere and just like that we have organized our messy composition from a very messy scene to three individual scenes so basically what I did was create one main composition in this case the messy example composition is our main scene so let me just rename it real quick we can go to the messy example and this is our main composition and in the main composition we have all these individual compositions scene one scene two and scene three so compositions are pretty much an awesome way to reorganize and arrange and manage all of your scenes all of your assets and all that stuff so it's really a good habit to kind of organize all of your stuff in compositions and later in the course we'll be discussing how to procedurally use compositions to do some amazing powerful and dynamic stuff for easy change so that's pretty much it remember Compositions are sub-projects of a project, and the project file is the main project that contains all of your compositions, all of your assets. So if you want to save a project and all of your compositions, simply go to File, and then you have a few options here, Save, Save As, Save As Copy, and Save a Copy as XML. Now once you save your project, you can give it a name. And then once you open that project, all your assets are going to be re-imported and all of your compositions will still be here. So, so this has just been a really quick overview on the differences between projects versus compositions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave me a message in the forums. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Now in the next lesson, we're going to be discussing the timeline in depth. We'll be talking about layers, duration, basic cuts, and additional options within the timeline. So... That's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time in the next lesson. Bye guys.